Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode in our Stray walkthrough. Now, see that little guy up there? That's B12. If you were watching the last episode, you would have seen that he is now accompanying us. He said he can't remember his name, so we could just call him B12. Oh, here we go. Uh, that key unlocks the door. I remember that much. He's lost his memory, and now we're going to help him get his memory back. Let's take the key. Very good. Battery low already. Come over here. Where are we going? Are you... You're going to have to put this on. Are we getting dressed? Yeah, boy. We got a little coat on now. Oh, so cool. So cool. Meow. What's he doing? Now where are we going? What is this cat doing? Oh. This backpack was de designed for small quadruples, quadrupeds like you. Is this uncomfortable for you? Don't worry, you'll get used to it. I've digitalized the key and stored it in the backpack. Right, let's open the inventory. Yep, there we are. Got the keys. Nice. Okay, right, now where do we go? Easy. If you're ever curious about an object, you can show it to me. Or to others if we come across any. Now let's get out of this flat. I wish. Oh, there we are. Let's uh, scratch the carpet again. Yeah, buddy! Right, I'll stop. Right, now where are we going? Oh, that's the... Select an item to use. Use the key. Oh, wow, look. We're opening doors, mate. Oh, wow, there's a light. This robot's so handy, bro. We got a robot that has a light. Oh, can we play the piano? Yeah. Meow. Definitely. Guys, let me know in the comment section down below if this is, like, the cutest game that has ever been made. Yeah. I Also, did you know, look, if you run across paint... Oh, it's not working with this one. In certain paints, uh, if you run across it, you will actually use... Um, all right, one, two, three, four, eight, the code. Right, so we need to find the code. So let's have a look here. Right, so the code's obviously in here somewhere. Code, 3748. That was easy. Oh, mate. All right, so uh, 3748. Yeah, the code worked. Yeah, buddy. Oh, come on, open it. Oh, mate, this uh, the animations on this cat just reminds me of my own. Because I, uh, I have three cats myself. Wait, what's he saying? Wow, look at this place. That elevator in a distance. That's important, I think. I know we need to go up. Let's jump in it. Let's go. Wee! Little meow. Meow and excitement. <laughs> oh, this cat's just so cute. So awesome. Jump out the bucket now. Right now, which way do we go? Uh, la 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 la. Oh, here we are. Cutscene. Wait, I remember the outside. It feels like I've been there before. Is this where you came from? Well, outside of this cyber city, yeah. I promised someone I would go there. Promised who? This postcard. The mural was painted from it. Let's take it. You can't just take a postcard, B12. What are you like? Why do I have these memories? How did they get here? Let's keep going. Well, yeah, we will keep going, but to be honest, mate, I don't... Oh, new memory recovered. 3%. I'll show you the postcard. The outside. We will see the sky again, I promise. Right, okay. The slums! We've approached the slums now. Hey, don't hit me. He's gonna hurt me, isn't he? 
Why have you pressed the panic button, bro? Oh, that's nice. Right, I'm, uh... Right, we're gonna have to run now, aren't we? My man just pressed the panic button and did a runner. Wait, hang on. Everyone's running inside. Why? I'm just a cat. Why is everyone running inside? Hello? Can I come in? No. But we do have a cutscene. this robot meow are you gonna be nice you ain't gonna hit me with that are you I'm gonna come over don't hit me well I'm gonna meet ya um, I have no idea what that says can you translate for me they seem to have their own language yeah can you transfer Ah, oh, there we go. You're no Zerk. We're not familiar with your kind. It's because I'm a cat, mate. You're welcome. You are welcome in our village as long as you don't eat anyone. We're a cat. We ain't gonna eat robots, mate. Have you got any fish? I'll happily have some fish. Or some iams or some whiskers. Anything like that. I'm happy to have that mush. Yeah, that's it. Tell your friends we're safe. We're not going to eat anyone, I promise. I can 100% guarantee you that we are not going to eat anyone. Oh, you've opened up a doorway for me. Can I talk to you, Mr. Guardian? You look lost. What do you need? Oh, a picture of the outside. Ridiculous. This elevator isn't operational. Everyone knows that. It is impossible to leave this place well, except the outsiders. But they're all gone now, except Momo. You can try to talk to him if you want, but he gave up on trying to leave. It's for the best. He lives up high in that building with the orange neon sign. Right, so we've got to get up there to Momo now. Okay. We'll try and get to Momo. Ask B12 for help. Don't hesitate to call me anytime I'm here to help. The Guardian told us to talk to Momo up in the big building with the orange neon sign. He's the only lead we got for getting out of here. Yeah, and I'm now trying to... Go on, big jump! Hey, we're getting there. I'm the best cat ever, mate. Oh, no. Oh. Hello. Oh, sorry, I knocked your paints everywhere. Right, so Momo oh, should be up here, right? Hello, Momo. Yes, there he is. Momo. Well, what's that monitor done to you, bro? For you to just slap it like that. Look at B12's big eyes there in the background. Hello, Momo. It's never going to work. Why did I let them go? I'm all alone now. Hey, you, what do you want? This! This is a picture of the outside. Do you want to go there? Well, don't bother. It's a waste of time. It will bring you only loneliness and despair. My friends had this dream too, but now they're gone and I'm all alone. I don't know where they ended up. I tried to contact them, but that blah, 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 blah. Transceiver doesn't work. My friends and I took notes of our research about the outside. Here, take mine if you really want to go out there. Thanks, Momo. 
You're on your own. I'm done with the outside. Good luck. Well, Momo. Momo seems very sad. He misses his friends. Let me check the notebook he gave us. The outside is manifesto. We must go outside at any cost. We must protect our brothers and sisters. We must stay away from Zerks. It is signed Clementine, Zablatza, Doc and Momo. It looks like Momo's name was added later. I think we should find the other notebooks. Yes. It's a good idea. Let's get on the telly. There he's friends. Yeah, we got a bag on our head. Oh, that's jokes. Can't even see. Meow. All right, let's get the bag off our head. Oh, mate, this is such a cool cat game. Guys, if you think this is the cutest cat game, well, the cutest game ever made, slap a like on the video. And don't forget to subscribe if you are new around here and turn the notification bell on so you do not miss another episode of our walkthrough. Um, right, can we squeeze through here? Oh, no, we just jump through the gap. Right, um, got to find another outside the lead now. Walk across. Ah, oh, look! Clementine's notebook. That's another notebook. And outside the notebook, it's the same logo as the one Momo gave us. This one seems to belong to someone named Clementine. Everything is going according to plan. We managed to contact the upper level before the transceiver went down. They are in a place called Midtown, and apparently it's controlled by some kind of oppressive force. I talked to Momo earlier. His eyes. I know this look. He will not come with us. Let's find the other notebooks. Yeah, but where are we going now? Just found another notebook. Where do we need to go now? Is that another... I, I think... I just found another hint. Can we... There we are. There's a notebook. Another notebook. Uh, all trace of organic life has disappeared except for what we call the Zerks. They seem to eat almost anything that moves and breed at an inconceivable rate. As if being locked in this city wasn't hard enough. Let's find the other notebooks. There ain't going to be another one in there, is it? Right, uh, and turn telly on. There we are, look, we turn the telly on. Yeah, look at us. We're definitely a cat. Here we go, we're in. Now we have to find the notebook in all of this. Oh. How to develop your artificial intelligence in order to be as creative as a real human, volume 42. This robot's obviously... Oh, there's a music sheet. I'll take that. Such a cool game, man. Such a cool game. Translate. Hey, Doc, I found the keys to your safe. You need to be more careful with these. It's not enough to bury your safe behind a bunch of books. Jess, the librarian. Right, so we got a safe to find. Just got some keys. Is that the safe? No, that looks like a fridge. More than a safe. Right, we find the safe, we find the notebook. Just say, there it is. Look, right here. What did I say? See? Knock all the books down. You safe. There we go. And... Out of the way. Come on. Take Doc's notebook. We found them all. Finally, the last notebook. This one seems to belong to someone named Doc. After weeks of research, I combined a spectrometer with a powerful UV lamp. With this, we should be capable of warding off the Zerks on our way out. The initial attempt was explosive. I might have to test it under real conditions. Oh, there's also a note in this book. It says I found a design flaw in the transceiver. 
but I think I figured out how to fix it. Here's the equation with this, we should be able to help Momo repair the transceiver. If it can communicate with the upper levels, that could be our way up. Let's show him what we found. Right, back to Momo. Look what we found, lad. Hey, little cat. No, we found on the notebooks, mate. Uh, this one. Oh, it belonged to Doc. He was really huge for electronics and stuff. He was always on the verge of a great discovery. That's a Blatter's notebook. Right, I never quite understood what he was talking about most of the time, but he was very wise. Wait, you actually found all my friend's notebooks? Yes, mate, we did. Oh, what's that note? The transceiver can be repaired. This is incredible. That means we should be able to communicate outside of the slums. Yeah! Clementine, Sir Blatzar, Doc, I'm sorry I doubted our cause. I promise you, I will find a way to reach the service. Thank you. We might be able to find you a way up. Now let's fix this piece of junk transceiver. Look at Momo go. Go on, son. And voila. It works. Come with me. Okay, Momo. We will... The cat toy! Oh my god, give me the cat toy! Up there, see that building high above the others? Yeah. If you install the transceiver at the very top of that tower, we should be able to communicate with the whole city. My friends might still be out there. If there is a way out, they'll know it. Oh, brilliant. You're the only one small and quick enough to evade the Zerks. We need you, little outsider. Bring us to the sky. So i got to go all the way up there. Rooftops! Oh god, that's a lot of Zerks. Oh. Right, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to end the video off here today. Thank you for joining me. I really hope you enjoyed this second episode of our stray walkthrough. I've enjoyed it. Uh, I'm really enjoying this at the moment. Where if you join us for episode three, we are going to make our way up the rooftops, wherever we need to go. I think it's up there where that, uh, where that big, big ass aerial is. Uh, we're going to make our way there and install this transceiver. Now, with that being said, guys, if you are new around here and you enjoyed today's content, slap a like on the video, subscribe if you're new around here, turn post notifications on so you do not miss another episode of our Stray Walkthrough. And as always, guys, keep smiling, stay positive, and...